Although Georgia's attorney general is not looking at suing the federal government over the immigration and refugee ban, right now two Savannah organizations resettling refugees here say it's already having a negative impact on them. Fox 28's Josie Gregory is investigating how the president's temporary ban is changing how they can help. Reverend Stephen Williams helped settle Savannah's first Syrian family here back in June. These new initiatives are, are creating a lot of uncertainty for everybody, but, but this is their new land and they're, they're adjusting. Lutheran Services of Georgia resettle about 100 refugees each year in Savannah. But with President Trump's new executive order, both organizations have been stopped in their tracks in the affected countries. There were quite a few arrivals coming in the coming weeks and months that will not come now. Some of the people waiting have family members already here. They're really devastated at the idea of not being able to see their family members indefinitely. President Trump claims that his executive order will protect America against foreign terrorists, drawing criticism from Democrats and praise from many Republicans, like Georgia's Congressman Buddy Carter. In a statement to Fox 28, Representative Carter says, In the world we currently live in, it is smart and necessary to focus on putting in place the most robust national security vetting process. The organizations say not all refugees are terrorists and already go through a rigorous vetting process. I fully believe and I know our program and LSG believes that refugees are fully vetted and they are safe people to come here. Lutheran Services gets most of their money from the federal government. They're not sure now how they'll be able to keep supporting these refugees here, but they're telling the refugee families they're behind them 100%. In Savannah, Josie Gregory, Fox 28 News at 10.